Okay, so on number 44 in 3.2, we have a function h of little t, which is negative 16 t squared plus 16 capital T. And t. Right? And capital T is the total time. Wait. What does h do? Yeah, so h is a height function, right? It takes elapsed time and turns it into height. So the little t is the elapsed time that some ballerina is jumping. And t is the total time the ballerina spends in the air. You guys cool that? No. No. Okay, tough. Is that what t stands for? Tough. What? Yes, t stands for tough. Okay. Now what? So what they're asking for is, why does this model only apply for? Oh, good. Perfect. That makes things way better. There's a little t here too. Thank you. <laughs> Be louder next time. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this one. <laughs> so this asks for why does the model only apply for 0 is smaller than t is smaller than capital T? Or maybe. So why does this model only work in that? What does this thing look like? OK, so negative time makes sense, right? That's just time since I started the stopwatch. But this thing's a downward pointing parabola, right? Mm -hmm. And it has intercepts at 0 and some other thing, and some other thing, at zero. And some and other thing which is t. Which is so there's 0 and capital T are your x-intercepts if you fiddle that thing around a little bit. And what that means is that your parabola looks like this, right? Negative height is a problem for ballerinas, <laughs> right? That means the stage broke. They fell through the floor. That's not great. OK? That one doesn't, that one's not a like, oh, look, she's continuing jumping down through the floor, right? That's a like, oh, somebody get an ambulance, right? <laughs> so when they ask, why does this model only apply, what do we answer? Because ballerinas can't Yeah. No underground ballets. That sounds like an illegal activity. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since ballets were illegal. <laughs> prohibition? Yeah. Underground. After the ballet prohibition, this model will apply for other times. OK, and then they say, when in terms of capital T does the maximum height occur? Between, like, specifically exactly between 0 and 0. Yeah, so maximum height's right there, yeah. That happens halfway between 0 and t, capital T, which is at? T over 2. Half T. Capital T over 2. Right, that's the time at which that occurs. How would I find out how high she jumps? You really get to that into the original function. Yeah, take that T over 2, plug it into the H function to get a height out, right? This thing here is a time. So, max height is at capital T over 2 seconds. Cool. Questions, please? Do I, need to, do I need to demonstrate to you that those are the x intercepts? No. Cool. There's a C part. Oh, no. There's a C on the other page. OK, C, show that the time t that the dancer is in the air is related to h, the maximum height of the jump, by the equation something. Ah, OK, cool. So I guess they do want me to go plug that thing in, right? So let me go find h of capital T over 2, right? This is going to be capital H, that maximum height. Ooh, 16 is 4 squared. 
Okay, so this is going to be negative 16 times what? T squared plus capital T, T squared. Capital T over 2 squared plus, and I got 16 T. Capital T. Capital T over 2. Okay, so all told here I got minus 16 capital T squared over 4 plus. Plus what? 8t squared, I think. What's minus 16 over 4? Negative 4. Negative 4. I got negative 4t squared plus 8t squared gives you 4t squared. And really that was capital H, right? Mm -hmm. What should they have put after the capital H to really be kind of totally honest? H of what? What's H of capital H is a function of capital T. Okay, see that? Mm -hmm.